Hello! Welcome back to Snark and Spark. My name is Emily and today is a long one. I'm going to be setting up the entirety of August in my new Simply Layout Planner from Happy Planner. So this is long. It is over an hour. It gets a little chaotic. It gets a little hectic. Bear with me. Grab a drink. I've got a drink here with me. Um, hopefully you don't hear too much in the background there. It is a really nice day. So what work is being done in my neighborhood. Right now I'm just re-showing you the kit. I did do a haul where I featured this kit. I believe I showed everything. This is from Fern Creek Stickers. Um, this was like Beachy Summer I think is what this the name of this kit is called. Um, and it is a journaling kit that I am using. I have discussed previously, but I'll mention it again. I really, really enjoy using the journaling kit in this planner layout because it is the dashboard layout, but condensed. Um, the traditional dashboard layout has, what well, it has like a notes page to the left where it'll have like a note section, a checklist section, um, like a priority section or whatever and then on the right side is the the dailies right small boxes you'll have eight boxes um, this though gets rid of that left hand side landing page is what I call it and it just has the eight like daily boxes. That top left hand box is always a Monday through Sunday. You can use that for anything you want really. Gratitude, um, maybe what you were reading that day, what you were watching that day, maybe if you have like an appointment or something big for that day, your intention for that day. I use it for meal planning our dinners because I do all of the um, like meal planning and grocery shopping for dinners in our house. So it helps for me with my ADHD if I go ahead and write all of those down for the coming week because then I can see it. I'm not left when the day comes where I'm like, uh, what's the plan? So I do that. What I'm doing right here is I've got this blue piece of paper and previously I have gone through our calendars and anything that is already in our digital calendar on our phones that my husband and I share with each other, I have made a list of. So every single day that there is something on the calendar, I have written down whether it is a birthday or a bill, um, an event, an appointment, it doesn't matter what it is. If it is on our calendar, I have written it down. So I literally have, I guess at the top it says like August events, bills and things, anything and everything, I write it down and I do it in order. So I start with the first, write down anything on the first, and then I go to the second. If there's nothing on that day, I just skip it and I go to the next one. Some of the things also have like brackets around them. So it's like one of those at the top says to print the academic calendar. I really needed to do that. I needed um, our son's academic calendar so I could have it and put it into my planner. Um, I have also that my parents were coming to visit in a bracket because those are things that maybe like that top one about the academic calendar was just something I remembered in the moment while I was doing this but because I was filming I didn't want to stop and like go write that note somewhere else. I was like just write it here. I'm gonna see it. I'll remember it. Other things that I tend to put in brackets on that blue piece of paper for like pre-planning are things that span multiple days. So like my parents came to visit for a weekend. They came in on a Friday. They stayed Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and left on Monday. So I put that in a bracket because it takes place over multiple days. And I try to write those near <laughs> the rest of the dates. So that's why the brackets are kind of spaced out. So like there's a lower one that says be vacation the 2nd through the 11th um, because he took vacation time, a significant amount of vacation time. And um, I wanted to mark that on our calendar because, well, that's a lot. I didn't, I only took some vacation during that time. I didn't take the full amount that he did. 
not that you need to know it, but like their vacation system at the place where he works doesn't like roll over. It is not concurrent, meaning um, starting at their hire date, they get all of their vacation for the year and that's it. And then, so if he doesn't use it by the time his like work anniversary comes up, it's gone. So like his hire date was is, is in August meaning every August, I don't know the exact date, I can't remember, it's like mid-August, let's say August 15th. So like every August 15th, he gets all of his vacation time, it's right there for use, right then and there. The downside of that is if he doesn't use it by next August 15th, it's gone. His is very much use it or lose it. My vacation system is like ongoing, I earn vacation time every every day like every time I get a paycheck part of my paycheck information is how much vacation and sick time I earned and it's always ongoing it's always accumulating it doesn't just stop so pros and cons are both of those right he has all of his available starting in August right for the next year mine is always growing so if I use some and I don't have enough I have to wait to earn more so it can get kind of tricky when we're trying to plan for trips or events and stuff, but at the same time, I typically have some saved up, I have some accrued, I can always see how much time I have. Um, and for him, you know, he hadn't, we didn't take a vacation this past year, we didn't go anywhere this summer, not really, like we didn't take an official trip. We had planned it, we had thought where we had wanted to, but we didn't. I'm kind of rambling about this vacation stuff, but it doesn't matter. We didn't take a trip, so we had vacation. So when he realized he had like a week and a half's worth of vacation and he was about to lose it, I was like, just take the time off and enjoy it. Like take the time before Caden starts school and we'll use it and I'll take, you know, a couple days off and we'll go do something fun before Caden starts school. And it was like one of those where like we had also already paid for like summer camp for some of that week during that time, like he took the last minute, he took vacation last minute kind of thing. So yeah, but it worked out. Anyways, I'll talk more about that later. What I was doing here though with these big stickers, I like to, after I've made my list of events, I take, I counted out how many of these boxes I had and I believe I have 12. Um, I go through my list of events and bills and I write down anything that is big that is happening or um, anything where there's multiple things happening on a day. Let me, I'm gonna look at my planner while I'm doing this so I can give examples of some of those. So like um, in those like square boxes in the top left I wrote down birthdays in like that big yellow flag I wrote that there was is a there was a wine walk that was happening um, in our downtown because that's what my mom and my my stepdad were coming in for so like I wanted to note that because that was a big event and it was several hours long and it was gonna take up a lot of our day um, I in like what looks like the Polaroid things I wrote like I guess like you know like picture opportunities is kind of like how I view them like um, that like Caden's first day of fifth grade, I wrote that um, my husband's sister was being induced um, and is about to have her baby. In the ones that look like post-it notes, I wrote down like reminders for myself. So like I have a to-do box of like, I needed to remember that my quarterly time off slip for work, because we my work is also related um, because I technically am a city employee, I have to, we get slips every quarter and we can go ahead and request things off in advance. It's a whole thing. What I'm doing right now, I'm going to pause. I have these recycling icon stickers, also from Fern Creek stickers. Um, I got them in the different, like the rainbow colors. And I'm actually comparing the colors of these like boxes of the kit to the recycling and I am noting which ones coordinate. And I really only thought these like pink ones coordinated and they have three, which is good because I needed three total for this month. Anyways, other things I have to like, so those little like post-it note things are um, 
reminder kind of things. Like I have that I had to turn, bring in my, my quarterly slip. I have that I wrote down that my mom and stepdad were coming to town on one of those. Um, that like orange flag I turned sideways and put on a this week sticker and I wrote that, you know, my husband was on vacation this week. Um, because like it lasted a full week (laughs) essentially. Um, I have, I also wrote down like when my parents left in that big blue circle, um, in the pink flag with the lines, I put a sticker on top that said important and I used that one because I had essentially three big like bills quote unquote for that day like our water bill was due that day our internet bill was due that day but also that was the day that my bmw was taken into the shop to be repaired which was very important (laughs) um and then that like the darker kind of blue one i wrote a message to myself because it is also the anniversary of my dad's passing was happening that happens in august and that is always really rough for me So I wrote down just a note, like reminding myself to, um, be gentle with myself, um, for that day slash that week, because I knew it was going to be hard because it always is. And then I believe the last one is that like cloud shaped box. And I just wrote that I had a hair appointment, um, because I can. (laughs) So then I start with decorating, um, I'd also kind of, you tell me, I have the Coffee Monster Co. like emoji heads. I looked through those because I like to, <clears throat> sorry, my voice kind of, my throat got froggy. Um, I like to use the emoji heads in my planner. Um, I like to put those next to events or stickers because um, I have them and I might as well use them. And it's a sampler, so I have like... It's like seven or eight of all of the same face. So you're going to hear my water open. I'm so sorry. Oh, that was loud. I hope that didn't hurt anyone's ears. Drink break. (laughs) Okay, so I did speed this up, obviously, and there's still a lot of me not really doing anything because... I want, I like to try and lay like a base down first, right? I like to do kind of some decorating of my edges. If you watch some of my older plan with me's from like 2022, um, you saw that. I always like to do like my top and bottom washi first. I will always lay that down. I don't mind to layer stickers, not an issue with me. But with this, because we have a lot of these bright, bold colors, I didn't want the colors to um become like too much like I didn't want one page to be all of that dark blue or light blue and and then the next page be like all pink right I didn't want to end up with like monochrome kind of spreads I wanted to make sure the the colors were balanced and they were spread out so I went through and I was looking at these like washi strips first and deciding how I wanted to lay them down And I knew I was like, okay, I want some on the bottom. I also want some on the top, but I don't want it to be, um, I I also didn't want like two full washi strips across the bottom and the top of the same page. Um, I also wanted to be able to open my planner and it for each page and each week to kind of look different. Like I didn't want it to be. I think July was more cohesive. I think I did like, I did. So like in July, I would take those long washi strips, like say it was the two pink ones. I did them both on the top of like coinciding pages or like neighboring pages, right? So it went all the way across the top. And like, yes, that's beautiful. It does give it a like coordinated look. I didn't want to do that this month. I wanted it to each page to be its own thing, each week to feel like its own week, right? Not a standard two page layout. So I always do the big long strips first. I always lay them across the top and the bottom. I don't care to cover up the that top left corner that just says the month, like that doesn't bother me. Um, 
I don't care if it covers that it says August or August, September. Like, that's not a big deal. Um, Because I know what month I'm in, and if I really need it, I will write it down. (laughs) Oh, okay. I have, I did write down, I was going to look up, just so we know, this, the title of this kit is called Summer Sun. I do try to write it down somewhere in the planner, usually at the front. Um of like the month or the top of the spread or a corner of a spread so I know I can look back and remember what this like kit was called. This kit is called Summer Sun and it is from Fern Creek Stickers. I will link her down below. Um, I like her shop. I like it a lot. My only complaint is you'll kind of see with some of these sometimes with these kind of wonky edges because it's supposed to um, you like simulate like torn pages sometimes the cut isn't completely clean and you have to kind of wiggle it or kind of almost tear it away from the sheet that doesn't bother me that much like it's really not that big a deal um kind of whatever but I do just want to give that heads up that sometimes they get a little stuck sometimes the cut isn't completely clean all the way around the edge just be slow take your time don't rush it um so yeah, you'll see like with this particular sticker, I was being very, very slow because the adhesive kind of separated because it just didn't cut all the way cleanly in that corner and that's fine. So I'm still just laying down these stickers. I'd like to use the big corner stickers, but it's the same thing. I don't want to necessarily use two like corner stickers. Um, if I can avoid it, I don't want to do Like in this, like you can see this like pink one that has that upper right corner done. I don't want to take that orange corner sticker that is still on the ripped sheet page and stick that in that, in a corresponding corner because that just feels too matchy matchy. It just feels too, it felt too coordinated. And with this one, I really didn't want it to look like that. I didn't want it to look necessarily super planned with the base. I wanted it to look more free-flowing. Um, so I went with this darker blue pattern of just leaves. The bottom one is floral. It has like leaves and pink flowers and like orange little buds versus that top blue one has just the dark blue with the lighter blue as like vines and I was okay with that. And before I started recording or anything I had gone through and already went through and I whited out on some of the pages the days of the week. A Some of them you'll see you can still read that it says Monday through Sunday and I did that on purpose. Um, I looked through, I did kind of pre-plan before the camera started rolling of like which date covers I wanted to go where. So the ones that I left the word is because it'll be completely covered by a sticker the ones that I whited out or tend to be those like box ones um, or the paint splotch ones or the circle splotchy shaped date covers that wouldn't fully cover the word and I didn't want part of the word seen, being seen so I covered it. Now I will say because I when I recorded this first section Um, I was filming very late at night. My husband was sitting next to me playing video games, but I was filming very, very late at night and I started to become very tired and me laying down my stickers started to get a little chaotic. I started kind of bouncing all over the place because I couldn't concentrate. I was tired. I just wasn't focusing very well. I didn't like the look of that one sticker. Um, on the 31st that hung down but I like it now now that like that week is over and I've layered other things I know see I'm jumping all over the place even with my narration Um, but I just want to point out that one that's like going down the page I didn't I didn't I didn't care for it at first but then I really ended up liking it anyways there's no rules with stickers not really you can do whatever you want So as I was saying, it started to become very hectic. I finished my base. Now I need to go through and lay down my date covers and start putting my like appointments and things right. I don't know 
I think it was literally just because I was so tired and like distracted. I just did not go, I started to not go through this cohesively. I started just kind of flipping through and placing stickers down, I feel like in weird places. Um, and when it got to that point, I decided I needed to be done because I knew I was going to do a voiceover and I was like, I'm not going to be able to give a good voiceover if I'm bouncing all over the place. And then the clip, so it will jar, I will drink break. <laughs> I will try and kind of pick it up again. <laughs> it has also been a while since I have, um, looked at this footage. Oh, there's Washington. I obviously filmed this at the end of July before September started. I filmed all of this. I knew I wanted to go ahead and do like a full month planning session. This has now been my new planning style instead of... <laughs> I have not watched this footage back. This is hilarious to me. Okay, so what just happened there? Washington was chill. He was right there. But then he decided he didn't want to sit next to my mouse anymore. He wanted to come closer. I tried to stop him. We kind of spooked each other and he knocked over my water bottle. And I was like, I tried to save him. I was trying to make sure he was okay. Get my water bottle up before it spilled all over the place. It has a lid. It's fine. I think it was pretty close to empty at this point. <laughs> like it was, it was a mess. I had to like put him on the floor yeah so okay ah now i remember what i was doing so this is from what shop is this um like mama bear sticker company where's the sheet and i will be able to tell you its name Mama Bear Sticker Co. It's something like that. It's also part of like Jump To It Designs. They have these, they do a set of like holiday stickers, like normal holiday stickers, but they also do a set of like wacky holidays. And um, I like to put those in my planner just for fun, just like a little extra bit. I So I was counting out how many there were for the month of August. Um, and figuring out how many stickers I would need because I don't lay them just straight down on my planner I like to put them on a sticker and then in the planner if that makes sense so this one I was looking at like do I put it on the washi do I put it on a paint swatch I eventually decide I'm gonna put it on a paint swatch I like to use the paint swatch stickers from the journaling kit as the wacky holiday like background because they are just clear it is just clear black writing with a, a little doodle some of the doodles have a little bit of color but it's really not a, a lot so it's not a big deal to me to lay them down on like a sticker so I like to put them on a paint swatch it kind of highlights them in the planner if I just look at it because it draws my eye like especially if there's nothing else on this on the plane that day I'll see it like I have Literally nothing happened on Thursday, August 10th, so there's nothing in my planner outside of it being a payday, but because that day is Lion Day and it's on a paint swatch, it does stand out, and I love that. So I do like to put them on the paint swatches, and then I lay them down in that like upper right-hand corner area of the box. That area tends to be a little thicker, it's a little bit wider than the, the lined area, so I like to use that for whatever. <laughs> But I like to use those for the the, hol the wacky holidays. Some of them, I'll just kind of share them. So August, no, July 31st was Avocado Day. August, <clears throat> August 1st was Mountain Climbing Day. The 3rd was Grab Some Nuts Day. I shouldn't laugh at that, but I find that funny. Um, Friday the 4th was Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. And the one that is going to be laid down on the 6th was Campfire Day. And so the, that wacky sticker sheet, um, it 
tells you this the the holiday and it also tells you what date it falls on or if it's on like the second Tuesday or whatever of the month like it does say it on there so you know what day it is I think Because we're starting, I feel like we're starting to get to the point where it starts to get a little hectic. I think my goal originally was I was going to try and do one whole week at a time. And then, and then I was like, I'll just go ahead and then lay all the dates down. And then I don't know what happened. And then I think I was, then it was like, oh, then I'll just do, I'll go ahead and do all of the the wacky holidays but my brain just was like on overload sorry i'm putting the cap on my water that i'm drinking now because washington just jumped on the desk and i don't need him stepping on it or knocking it over what i'm doing currently is some of the date covers one of the options for date covers that is included in the journaling kits are just scripts um and I don't like to use them just by themselves. I like to lay them on top of a flag. So this is another example where it didn't get cut all the way cleanly, but it has a lot of weird wonky edges. So I just kind of had to wiggle it a little bit and get it to peel up. Um, did I make a mistake? I don't know what I was doing. It's fine. Um, I like to take the flags and put the dates on them. <laughs> and then lay those down in my planner. So I was laying them all over the place because I didn't want like an orange on an orange or like the yellow on the yellow because each of the days of the week is also a color. So I wanted them to be on a different colored flag than the color of the script. That seemed really unnecessarily complicated the way I said this. So I did that, got my dates prepped, I laid down a meal plan sticker, which is also from Fern Creek Stickers. And now again, I'm just kind of tapping because I'm like, what do I do now? What do I use these little squares for? <laughs> or squares? <laughs> these little circles. What am I doing? Um, and then that is a Sharpie S gel pen in a 0 0.7. I really, really like these pens. I like how smoothly they write um i have like a pack of them love them okay now i'm trying to get back i'm trying to focus on this week <laughs> in front of me so i laid down a flag that said kate comes home because kaden was returning home from being with his grandparents then i'm taking that like little note box that says to do I put it down on Monday the 31st and then I ended up moving it. I'm trying to remember why I ended up moving it, but I did. Um, then I took the box that say, said it was Rachel's birthday because it was. You'll notice I didn't push the sticker all the way down for her birthday um, because I wanted, to, if I needed to move it, I wanted to be able to pull it up. I realized, yes, because technically the quarterly slip was due on the first of the month, so I took it off of Monday. Even though it was Monday, I moved it to the day that it was supposed to be due. Um, what else am I doing now? This is where I decided I wanted to use these thinner paint swatches as payday stickers. Um, both my drink break. My husband and I both are on a, um, we get paid every other week, but it just so happens that we're on opposite schedule. So I get paid one week, he gets paid the next, which is nice. So there's always, it's like we do get paid like every week, just the way our layout is. But I do like to note those. Um, so I went ahead and wrote down four paydays. Sorry, someone just drove by and it was loud and distracting. <laughs> yep, and so this is, I think, definitely where it starts to go off the rails <laughs> a little bit. I completely abandoned doing 
that first week and just started laying down date stickers. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm laying down these date stickers. So these are paint swatches that are all the same color, which is fine. Um, I did do that on purpose. I did do like all of the like yellowy color paints or square date, date covers on the left and then used all of the light blue paint swatch date colors on the right. This is, this is a hot mess, I'm telling you. So we have now technically switched over to the last day. Um, I think that was pretty seamless. You couldn't really tell that was me dancing. Um, I was like, you know what, let's look at this with fresh eyes. We're going to get back into it. Fresh, fresh face, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I believe here I was like, okay, let's get a plan. And the plan is going to be, we're going to lay down all of the day stickers. And I think I did this with the last month, too. I... Ooh, I didn't... Yeah, these were tough to get out this time. These ones did not want... Like, these little rectangle date covers did not want to wiggle free. So I pulled it off camera because I could not... Oh, there we go. And I was trying to see if I liked the full length of it this time. I didn't, so I pull out my little like paper cutter and I trim off the excess and I just trim it close to the the date and then I I use the date part. I don't get rid of what I trimmed off. I keep it and then I end up actually cutting those with my little cutter into like squares and using those as like bullets. And that works for me. Sorry, my head is going to be in the frame. That's me listening. I was listening to some instrumental music while I do this. Because I can't watch any videos. I can't do anything else. Otherwise, I'll get really, really distracted. So I will find like a music playlist and put that on. And I believe this time I was actually listening to music with words. And was like, I think you'll see me kind of like occasionally dance. <laughs> Oh, because I am like that. Ah. <laughs> I thought I was going to be clever, and if I pulled, the, like, the background white paper off, that it would make the stickers come out easier, and that was not the case. It um, kind of backfired on me. They did not want to come out. This sheet, in particular, just gave me a really, really hard time. I struggled so much. <laughs> and it stuck to me. <sighs> Don't let that deter you though. The stickers are really great quality. I do really, really like them. I like using them. This was just an annoying sheet in particular to deal with. So I believe what's going to happen now is I'm going to go through and lay down all of my dates, which would be ideal. Like I said, um, I think I kind of talked over myself earlier. I filmed this, like I filmed the footage over the course of like two days at the end of July with the intent of doing a voiceover plan with me. I just couldn't figure out when I wanted to release the plan with me. I didn't, I didn't really want to put it at the beginning of the month. Like I had so many other things that came out at the beginning of the month and then as the weeks have just kind of gone by, I was like, you know what, it can just wait till the end of the month. I don't mind to go back and do a voiceover and talk about how my month was while I do this plan with me. Um, so it is actually the 27th of August right now as I am doing the voice voiceover for this. And within the next like couple days, I will film my September plan with me using my... Fern Creek <laughs> stickers journaling kit that I picked for <laughs> September. And I have my, 
what is it, plum paper planner stickers as well. Those I think I will continue to release near the beginning of the month um, because I think those are handy to have out, like doing my monthly at the beginning of the month. Um, because that's just a general layout, you still kind of get an idea, you get to do a plan with me, um, and also doing the my dashboard page at the beginning of the month, because that's where I'd like to discuss my reading plans, my stitchy plans, you know, using those dashboard pages. Um, so I think I will, I will continue to do that. I will continue to use, release monthly plan with me's and the dashboard plan with me's at the beginning of the month, and then I think I'm going to attempt to do this um, monthly overview at the end of the month where I discuss how my month was while you watched me lay down the stickers for it. If that does not seem convoluted, you don't know me. Because <laughs> this is how I roll. It's crazy. So let's talk about my month then. Now that it, um, I figured, I figured out in the midst of filming this, recording this audio, this is what I was going to do. So let's go back to that first week while I lay down these day stickers. Oop, that one got stuck. So the, at the end of July, Caden came back from spending a week with his grandparents. It was amazing. He came home, um, Monday and, um, Brian's mom stayed with us overnight because she brought him all the way back so that we wouldn't have to to go get him and the reason they did that was because the previous day over the weekend um, I'd had a busy weekend myself Saturday I was in Chicago with my work friend because she and I went to go see Ed Sheeran in concert and it was amazing um, I highly recommend he puts on a wonderful show it was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before um, it was so good so that was Saturday um, and then we spent the night in Chicago that that Saturday. We spent the night and then we got up, slowly made our way back to town on Sunday. And then when I got back to town Sunday, I had a like housewarming slash foster shower party to go to. Um, my really good friend and hairstylist, actually, she and her husband just bought a house within the last couple months and they have been doing some foster classes because they do want to foster to adopt which is amazing so they did like a combined housewarming foster shower um and it was a lot of fun we have given them a lot of Caden's older stuff that we no longer need so it's just been it's been so wonderful to see them go on this journey and to support them and like be there with them through this. It's just been, it's been wonderful. Um, yes, it's been difficult, but it has also been, it has also been such a good time to just watch them grow. So, I was a little busy that weekend and could not go get Caden. So instead, um, my husband's parents were like, why don't we just bring him all the way there? We'll spend the night, kind of hang out thing. So Bryant's mom brought him all the way here from our hometown, hung out with us, <laughs> and it was it was a lot of fun. Um, she got to see him do jujitsu in person, like actually go to a jujitsu class. Um, she really enjoyed that. He had a good time. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I just want to point out, I'm laying down the Wacky Holiday still, um, but I was trying to find, like, colors and, like, swatches and stuff that wouldn't, um, clash too much or, like, weren't the same as the date stickers. So, like, um, you know, I wanted to use, like, blue with the yellow and not another yellow if I could do it. Drink break. Oh, my water is just making a lot of sounds. I'm sorry. It's carbonated. It's a it's sparkling water, but it's in a bottle, so. <laughs> Highly recommend. Side note, we get the Clear American brand from Walmart. They come in like one liter bottles of flavoring water of like all different flavors, like flavored sparkling water. And they're all so good and like 
zero sugar, zero calories, zero caffeine, zero sodium. Um, it's so good. And like I said, it's a liter. And so I drink one. We all drink like one of those almost every day. <laughs> but it's a really good way just to get like even more water and um, to not feel guilty for wanting like a flavored beverage. And it also has just really helped us cut down on like our soda intake. It's helped with Caden a lot. He really likes them. So like that's also been really, really helpful for us with him. Um, so that he's not asking for sodas and stuff. Um, instead we're like, you can get a sparkling water. And so like he can pick cause we, we try and buy a variety of flavors and they're cheap. They're like a dollar something for a liter. So we'll buy a bunch of them and then we keep them in the garage and we put them in our little like mini fridge in the garage. Um, it's like, that's my little parenting hack because now he's not bugging us for soda. He still does. Like, obviously he's a kid. He'll still ask for a soda, but now he's not like, can I have a soda? Can I have a root beer? Can I have whatever? And stuff like, can I go get a, can I have a sparkling water? And we're like, yeah, you can have a sparkling water. That's a great idea. <laughs> So I think I'm still kind of calling this my, yep, here I am dancing. <laughs> so I figured out with this method of planning as well that maybe the best thing for me to do was put down all those base like torn washi strip, get that base decoration going, then go through and lay down all of my date covers and do all of the wacky holidays and then go back and put in my like day-to-day -day stuff, right? Um, I have talked in the past, I am not super busy. Um, I am not necessarily doing something every single day, or if I am doing something every single day, it tends to be pretty routine. We have a structure. Um, it's, it's pretty unique. Like we know, you know, he's always going to do his sports. It's always going to be at the same time every week, right? Um, or if I have an appointment, I try not to schedule way too many appointments in one day because I do know that that can become very overwhelming for me very quickly. Um, so I do really, really well now with these smaller layouts because with my bigger layout, I started feeling like I had to fill it up, right? I'm really not that busy, but I had this full page, these vertical columns, and I really just wasn't that busy. And there was this pressure to fill it, to fill it up. And it just became unnecessary. So I, or I was, either I didn't have enough, or then I was trying to fit in way too much. And that just wasn't working for me. And so now using this like smaller layout where all this planner has are our day-to-day -day events of like big reminders, bills, birthdays, appointments, things like that is really, really nice because it's all right there. And that's all this planner is. It's just appointments. It's just events. It's it's only bills, like it's just those things versus like my, my health and wellness planner has more of those details that I don't necessarily want to put in here. And I don't have to share that planner with you guys. I could, but I'm not going to because I need to have something that is just for me, right? And that's what this is. Um, so this, don't mind sharing, my health and wellness I am going to keep to myself because that's where I am tracking what I'm eating, um, affirmations, stuff related to spirituality, um, emotional health. It's where I'm tracking all of my reading and exercise and things like that. Pretty much anything else goes in that planner and that's just for me. And I think this is finally a good planner system that works. It has also been incredibly helpful for me to have my whole month done in these bright, bold, fun colors. I think I've talked about this in the past as well. Me having ADHD, you've got to get my attention. I struggle so much with out of sight, out of mind. So if it's not there and if it does not catch my attention, I'm not going to remember it. I'm not going to recall it. I use this along with my phone and the calendars on my phone to keep me in track and to keep me <laughs> focused because otherwise, Nope, it's gone. 
So using this simple layout, and I believe you know it is called Simply, using this layout has been great because I've got the big, bold, important things on the big stickers, right? I've got those things that are very important to me on the big stickers. I've got flags, and then I've got bullet points. And it's like I can prioritize, and I can look at this and see what needs to be done, and that is so nice for me to look at. So I finished my base, which I'm now kind of calling as it goes decoration first, then I'm going to go through and do date covers, and then I'm going to go through and do these wacky holidays, then go back and start looking at my weeks. Okay, so week one, we're back here. I've got Kaden was coming home. I had that my quarterly time off slip was due for work. I've got Rachel's birthday down. I have that B went on vacation. Um, I'm also using these emoji heads because I, like I said, I like to use them. They're fun. They're cute. Otherwise, they're just going to sit in my drawer. I also am trying to just very much use my stickers instead of just tucking them into a drawer and walking away. Um, so just trying to find fun stickers that kind of fit. <laughs> um... what else so then what i'm doing is i'm looking at my weeks and then i'm i'm placing all of these big stickers down first so you know I, like on that previous one i put down um that brian's sister was being induced i put down that my mom and my stepdad were coming i put down the wine walk sticker um then the following week i have that my mom and Mike were leaving and I just put kind of like a little a little cheeky face um, I'm looking at that week just to make sure I'm not missing anything else then I'm looking at the following week Monday that 21st was the BMW appointment bills to be paid so I put that to the far corner I also tend to put all of these big stickers to that right side I, I kind of instinctively make these like double columns in my planner even with these and that works for me as well I'll put all those big stickers to the right and then I use like the other things to the left like the smaller stickers the bullets and stuff I put like a little crying face emoji because I was like I'm gonna be without my car for a week oh hello Washington's here <laughs> in my time not video time <laughs> um, I put down that Caden's first day of fifth grade with like a mind exploding um, sticker. Oh, whoops, sorry. So this sticker that I'm laying down, I'm trying to figure out where to put it um, because this is the one that talks about the anniversary of my dad's passing. So the anniversary of his death was actually um, the 23rd. I didn't want Wednesday the 23rd to just be completely and only that along with Caden's first day of fifth grade I knew that that day was going to be hella emotional for me my baby is going into school right this really feels like his last year of elementary school but it's also the anniversary of my dad dying so like there was a lot going on there and I just knew leading up to it as well I have been dreading this day so I just kind of put it off a little bit on Tuesday some on Wednesday some on Thursday because I just knew this whole week I just needed to remind myself to be gentle and to give myself that space. Finally, on this last week of August, which does have the first three days of September as well, um, I put down my mom's birthday. Her birthday is tomorrow, August 28th. Crazy. And my hair appointment. I have a hair appointment on the 29th. Drink break. It will not be anything crazy. <laughs> I'm actually going to be in a wedding very very soon I will probably have like one other appointment before the wedding but I I'm not gonna dye my hair anything super crazy colored because I do want to have I'm digging what I currently have which is this kind of blondie it's got some pastel pink some pastel purple we called it my Barbie era my Barbie core <laughs> Um, I'm still kind of digging that. I think I'm going to kind of keep it or keep it. It's now turned, it's faded because it's pastel, so it's definitely become more of like a silvery blonde. <laughs> With a few hints of like pink and purple still. 
Um, but I think I'm just going to kind of keep with like the silvery tone for now until after her wedding. She said I could dye my hair whatever color I want, but like it's a fall wedding. I think um, she has very traditional fall colors like burgundies, olive greens, um, like taupe, rose gold, those kinds of things. And I just think having like blonder or even that kind of silvery blonde hair will look really good with her colors and also we are wearing burgundy so I don't want anything super crazy right now I'll be I'll be good <laughs> so now I'm going through and I am laying down the payday stickers so I've done all those big stickers now I'm going through and I'm gonna start laying in some of the smaller stickers with my other dates and events and things that I know oh I was getting something on my phone I don't know what I was looking at I was looking at something Too distracted. Too distracted for life. <laughs> okay. Oh, what am I doing there? Oh, putting down. Yes. Happy face. Oh, also, you saw me peel off that white stuff, like the white excess stickers. Um, I do that because it gets to a point where I've got like these five to six sheets of stickers, right? Um, or more and they're all partially used and instead of having five or six partially used sticker sheets I will peel off the background or that backing area like the white zone of a sticker sheet and then just transfer all of them onto the sticker paper and then that way I have maybe one to two sheet of all of these coordinating stickers instead of three to four with three to four stickers on them right Okay, so then I just kind of laid down some stuff that I needed to do. Um, I put down like a daily chore, something that I wanted to get done on, on that Monday. I wanted to vacuum. Um, I don't normally write down like my chores in this planner, but for whatever reason I did. I did not finish it, do that the rest of the month. I think these were just like big things that I wanted to, to note um, because like with Bryant going on vacation, I took some vacation at the beginning of his, of his vacation. I said that word so many times. Um, so I was just trying to like get stuff done because we were going to be gone for potentially a couple days. Um, so like I took, I always have Wednesdays off anyways, which is the second. I have Wednesdays off. I decided just, I took the third and the fourth off that week as well. And then that way I was home Wednesday, starting Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I had five days off with Bryant for some of his vacation time. Caden wasn't in camp that week, so we were able to be together as a family. Um, and we originally were going to go camping. We had looked at places to go camping, but we wanted to be able to take the dogs with us. We didn't want to kennel them. And it just didn't work out, and that's fine. The, like, the campgrounds and stuff that we had looked at, um, that were dog friendly either didn't have the availability that we wanted, like, they only had, like, one to two days available, or, um, they weren't dog friendly, like, it just wasn't gonna work out kind of thing, so we decided instead, instead of trying to go camping, why don't we just take some smaller day trips, um, and that ended up being such a better plan so originally I had you know the, these chores on there the things of like I need to get done because we're gonna be gone for a few days like we're gonna be gone for several days camping I didn't want just like dirty dishes sitting you know like the floor um, I had also said you know to wash laundry and fold clothes and that I needed to pack because <laughs> I thought we were gonna go camping <laughs> so this is one of the examples where like I had a little bit left over um, and used just made it as a square and use it as like a bullet point for jujitsu. I like to use those to mark Caden's sports. I did that last month and I did it this month and that way it is cohesive. You just heard my boy shake his collar. Um, that way when I see a square like bullet shape, I know that that has to do with Caden and his sports. So that's why I marked jujitsu there. Um, I did not mark it for the rest of that week because I didn't think we were going to be there that week. 
do, 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 do. I knew I needed a couple more things on there. Um, like, yeah, I knew we were ordering groceries. I had already marked that. I also had marked that we were we had picked up we were picking up the groceries the next day on Thursday. We ordered groceries for Wednesday. We were picking them up Thursday morning. I knew we were gonna go hiking at Makokata Caves, which is amazing. Um, that was really really fun. We did that. It's a state park um, north of us, and we went there with the dogs and we hiked around. And you can hike in through some of the caves. Um, it's not like You would have to like look up pictures because I don't know how to describe it, but it is fun. It is beautiful. We had a great time. We all got dirty and messy and everyone loved it. Except for Kennedy. Kennedy is a princess um, and hated getting her paws wet. <laughs> um, I also marked on that like washy looking strip that it was our mortgage because our mortgage is always on the first. I feel like that's pretty standard. I have trash day stickers from Cloud Factory. No, not Cloud Factory. That is a cross stitch shop. <laughs> the Worry Cloud. That's what it's called. The Worry Cloud is where my big trash day stickers are from. The, the smaller recycling icons are from Fern Creek stickers. I do prefer the size. You'll see on one of the days, it is this week, um, I'll lay down um, the trash day stickers. They're big. You can see it on this. The trash is big and the recycling is small. I much prefer the smaller size because in some of the days the trash day sticker is so large it feels like it takes up a lot of room. So, but I want to use those up and once I use use them up, I will order just some trash day stickers probably from Fern Creek because I'm just really into her style. Um, they're really handy. What is this? This is the next week. This was the week of the 7th through the 13th that I'm now looking at. I've laid down a jujitsu sticker. I'm looking at these flags and I'm deciding to use these flags um, for insurance payment and a department meeting that we had that day, which was exciting. I ended up using it for a department. I haven't done it yet. but. Um, oh, I wrote down, so that was for the BMW payment, and that was for the Jeep payment, which was actually on the previous week. I just forgot and put it in there. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, yes, so now I'm going through and I'm writing down some of those other bills and things on that from that blue sheet of paper that I needed to recall. Okay. It has also been unbearably hot here and that is Yeah, so all I'm just doing is writing down my other bills from that sheet. So that way I knew to I use those on flags because those are important and I wanted those to be noted. Um, what day am I on? Oh, I had that pink flag left over and I end up writing. We have, I don't remember if I do it here or if I go back and do it, but I've got my BMW because see I'm looking at my planner now and obviously there's more stuff that has been filled in since I recorded this because I do still use my planner as things pop up. Um, this was just you know everything I had before the month so but as the month has gone on obviously things have been added so I was like wait why didn't I lay that down? But I had a department meeting at the beginning of the month, which is super exciting. There's some changes happening to my department, which I guess I could talk about since none of you. <laughs> um, but essentially, we're just going to be moving, rearranging some furniture, moving things around. Um, we're bringing a department that is in the basement. We're going to bring them up out of the basement and put them out on the public floor to hopefully get them more attention, um, more traffic. It's our special collections department, which does handle... Um, old documents, maps, blueprints, things like that, which is very exciting. We're gonna create a space for them 
up on like the second floor up on the public floor so that's really exciting um which means then that, like the downstairs area the basement will then be um vacant and we my department is going to move into the basement um and that is exciting because my department is not public facing i do not interact with the public as part of my job description i do if i go out onto the floor like yes i will have an interaction with with a patron but that is not my primary job duty i do a lot of um in-house behind the scenes work so we don't need to be on the public floor so it's really exciting so they're going to we're going to rearrange stuff and give them essentially like our like office space where we are currently set up um, and we're just kind of switching locations, but it's going to take a lot of time. They want to do it right. They're going to move things around slowly. So that is very exciting, though, that this is happening. Um, we have been told that hopefully by next summer, we said we were told spring. I think it will be a year um, easily, like next fall, before anything really, really happens. And that's okay. Like, <laughs> I'd rather it take the time and do it right then rush <laughs> so now I'm laying down my meal plan but what else happened this month oh let's see that week the week of the 14th was the last week of summer camp we had um, a Cairo appointment that week um, the 17th ended up being like the unpack your backpack night at my kids' school, which is um, the night they go to school early. Um, typically, like the week before school starts, they'll go and they he finds his classroom, he meets his teacher, you know, he gets his desk, his locker, he unpacks all of his school supplies and gets like his seat like set up and ready. And it's a lot of fun. It's really sweet. Um, I unfortunately did not get to take him this year. Um, I realized I didn't have enough payday stickers because this month I had five weeks. Um, I didn't get to take him and that's okay It because it went from like four to six and I worked until five. So my husband took him, which is fine. They went together. Um, Caden had a belt test in jujitsu that week um, and he passed. He is officially now an orange belt, which is very exciting. Um, I can't believe it. Uh, he started this in January and here we are. He has already progressed up two belts. He would, you know, he started as a white and then he tested in April and became a red belt. And now they just tested again and he is now an orange belt. Like that is so exciting to me. Um, on Tuesdays, I am laying down these little like open box stickers that are from Nicole Hutch Designs. Um, I have like two sheets of these like colored ones. I did the same thing. I just kind of compared and I found what I thought looked like the closest colors to this color scheme um, and am laying them down to mark Hungry Root deliveries because it always gets delivered on Tuesdays. Um, I did cancel one of these one of these months. It just, I didn't need it. We had been traveling, you know, I still had food in the fridge. I didn't need the Hungry Root. Plus I want, just we decided to kind of change up some of our diets. Caden is now at that age of adolescence um, where he is eating everything in sight. <laughs> so we are trying as a family and not just for him, like not just him, but like we are trying as a whole to um, change the food options in the house. All I'm doing now is I'm just transferring, like what I said, I'm pulling all of the stickers off these sheets and putting them onto one sheet so that way I only need to have like a sheet of stickers not four to five stickers since they all coordinate anyways um, I was changed my like dietary preferences I used to have where it would send like sweets um, and I now have changed it instead to get fruit servings so now every week it will also send fruit so like next week we will get like a bag of apples and like a box of nectarines because with Caden wanting to eat so much more food we are trying to just have healthier better options for him to choose from so that he's not tempted to just go eat a bunch of sugary stuff so we did um essentially 
eat up all of the other stuff and now we're just slowly we've replaced it with more fruits um granola bars more protein you know complex carbs less sugars that way his body will slowly break them down instead of quickly break them down and eat everything and constantly need more food so that is my month i have written more in here obviously as things have happened but that is my month at of august so I'm gonna flip through and show you. Here's that monthly page. We saw the dashboard. Weeks one and two, three and four, and week five, and then that last notes page. That's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very, very soon. Be easy with your hearts.